makes you question the Bible so much. But again, when you go to the Quran, it looks so purified, like nothing is missing to the point that when you read the Quran, it's just like a landslide of just beauty. You get it? And Hey yo, what's up everybody welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and we are funny and Jesse So right about now we're gonna do another reaction video But before we get into the reaction guys, I want to thank you so much for subscribing to our channel For making sure that you put your comments on the comment section below you guys are really really amazing man Thank you so much and once again, I want to thank you so much for taking us to 15,000 subscribers. It has been a milestone and you guys are just amazing. We are now in the road of reaching 16,000 subscribers and I know we're going to do that in a month, not even a month, in a few weeks from now. And that's going to be an amazing journey again, you know. Um, I mean, we're just here to react. Uh, uh, probably entertain you guys and probably educate and all those kind of things and yeah and if you have any kind of reaction video don't hesitate just go down in the comment section and let us know any kind of reaction video that you want us to do and we are gonna do it so right about now we're gonna jump into the reaction and we're gonna do a reaction that was suggested by a lot of people and this one right here was suggested, uh, was suggested by a lot of people and they suggested that we should go react to if Jesus said God is one why does the Trinity exist yeah so let's get it Um, if Jesus said God is one, why does the Trinity exist? Um, asking me why the Trinity exists is like asking me why the moon exists. It just does. But the Trinity, the Trinity as we know it, um, is deduced from some of the implicit statements of Jesus. But there is only one explicit statement, really plainly explicit, that talks about Trinity. And it's in 1 John 5, verse 7, where it said, There are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. These three are one, and there are three that bear record on earth, the water, the blood, and the Spirit. And these three agree as one. This is the compendium for the understanding that everything that Jesus said was about this. Unfortunately, biblical scholars themselves have proved that this was never a part of the original writings of the Bible. This did not come into the existence until the Latin Vulgate. So biblical scholars in the 50s, when they made something called the NSRV, which is no longer in print, the New Standard Revised Version of the Bible, this is one of the verses that they tossed out. Along with the story of Jesus forgiving the adulteress and some other things, they tossed it out. And these are biblical scholars, a college of biblical scholars of repute, said that 1 John 5 and 7 was never a part of the original documents. It only comes in the Latin Vulgate, so it is flicked out. But Jesus taught God was one. Thank you. One, we have one more that is related to the one that I just asked. Um, there's a sister asking for advice on how to give nasiha or um, da'wah to her mother who believes that God is three and make her believe that God is one. My answer will be the same to the other sister. Tell her to go read the red letter edition of the Bible. Read only the red. Leave everything else. If you can find Trinity in that then we have a serious problem because Jesus only spoke implicitly in verses like I and the Father are one and things of this nature but his explicit statements are clearly clearly distinguish himself from the God that he worshipped so the Trinity is not something that Jesus taught it's something that came about later even if we look at early church history the debate that raged on for the first three centuries of Christianity was about the nature of Jesus there were churches there were places of worship throughout Palestine, throughout Northern Africa, throughout East Africa that believed in Jesus as a Messiah, as God as one, and Him as a prophet and messenger and Messiah. These churches were eradicated after the councils of Nicaea. 
After the Council of Nicaea were concluded and these bishops who were from Rome, who had the power and the prestige, just like politics today, when the politics were played and they decided that Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, the Acts of the Apostles, and the writings of Paul are what we're going to believe and our creed is what we're going to believe and anyone who disagrees with it, you will have your tongue cut out, you will have your books burned, you will be imprisoned, you will be killed. So this is what happened to the eradication of the early church who followed Jesus. We not only have witness from that from historical documents, but also in Islam, we have a witness from a man named Salman al-Farsi, a Persian man who said he used to worship Jesus as one, as a prophet, as a messenger, and that there were very few people left on earth. And his last teacher, who was a follower of Jesus, the Christ, the Messiah, told him, and we have this on very good account, told him, go to the city of Medina, which was known as Yathrib at the time, because the next messenger is going to come. This is what he's going to look like, and he's going to have a seal of prophethood on his shoulder between his two, uh, on his back between his shoulders. And Salman al-Farsi said that is exactly what happened when he heard the prophet was there. He went and he saw him, and the <coughs> prophet said, are you looking for this on my back? And he showed it to him, and Salman al-Farsi accepted Islam because this is what he was told to do by his followers, or his teachers, who followed Jesus Christ. So we have the historical reference. Wow. <laughs> Yo, too much information. Too much information right here. Yes, of course, um, a lot of things have been altered, you know, since the early stages of Christianity and then uh, now the modern Christianity that we have today, the Bible that we have today has been altered. Um, is it 11 times or something yeah so the bible that we have that's why um the catholics have i mean the bible goes up to is it 70 something and then now the bible that we read today has like 63 i don't know if i'm true about it but just let me know in the comment section if i made the correct so there's some things books that are that were actually removed there's some scriptures that were, were removed from, from the Bible or something which they were replaced by their own interest or their own particular verses that would suit their, their needs or they felt like if the people of uh, the people of Christianity read this they're going to be more indoctrinated and uh, believe that this is how things used to be and whatnot but uh, just like the, uh, I don't know if the sheikh or imam just was, was talking over here, he just mentioned that um, uh, Jesus believed that he was one with God, you get it? But he, he wasn't like saying like he was God and all those kind of things and whatnot and the Holy Trinity, I think everybody knows what the Holy Trinity is. I mean, those things were later mentioned in the bible but in the the earlier days of christianity nothing like that never ever existed so we see that as we progressively move forward things are being altered a lot of politics have been like are being added into the religion aspect and whatnot and now you tend to find even religion nowadays has become political has become more of um, games more of you know uh, playing around with the word of god and all those kind of things i mean there's so much that is happening around but this is a good information that is being told to people out there but people are igno ignorant enough not to understand that there's some things that what what what, what there's some things that are mentioned in these books that does not actually resonate with the earlier uh, book that was actually um, presented to, to humans or maybe Christianity or maybe Islam or all, um, all, all the people that normally and all the people who existed at that particular point of time and um, people, people do other things you understand nobody like it's just like when I know that the truth is in this book right here, I wouldn't want to give you the whole information. I would want to give you the book, but now 
I'll be giving you the book with so much parables in there and again I will take out the most important ones and add in some uh, some 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 letters or maybe uh, just words that are gonna maybe confuse you just confuse your faith or probably not even confuse your faith it's going to make you go astray when it comes to uh, believe or having faith in, in, in that religion I think people are so wicked why would somebody do that you get it there's somebody who was saying that um, I, I was reading a book uh, I was reading a book a guy called Credo Mutua and he was talking about the Europeans um, he was saying that um, why would somebody who hates you come to your land and give you a book that presumably is going to change your life and he said like this is the life and this is everything you get it why would somebody give you such a thing when in the back of his mind he doesn't like you he just wants to enslave you and put you at a situation where you are susceptible to to any kind of of ailment and all those kind of things you get it i mean it's it's it doesn't really make sense that way you get it if uh, if somebody really want to give you the truth is going to give you the truth regardless of um of where he or she is coming from and if he really really likes and he really wants you to prosper it's going to give you what is needed for you to prosper but since humans are people that uh what do you call this they have been subjected to jealousy subjected to greed subjected to all these worldly type of things they don't want to see one particular group of people moving forward so that's why they had to create all these cows and whatnot that's why today when you read the bible it's pretty much crazy because you find there's some books that were being removed from the bible there's some things that were being why were they removing all those things you get it it, it it makes you question the bible so much but again when you go to the quran it looks so purified like nothing is missing to the point that when you read the quran it's just like a landslide of just beauty you get it and that's why even today when there's an argument between the christian and the muslim a muslim will easily beat down the uh uh, a Christian but now that's not the whole point over here the point is there's something wrong and the people who are on the hierarchy up there they know there's something wrong there's something that was done but now they don't want to come forth and tell people guys this is what happened and you need to scratch this and take this you get it no one is coming forth to say that but anyway everybody is just taking to their own religion and saying that my religion is the best you should come to my religion and all those kind of things why don't you just unify together and come up with a, with a common understanding i believe the common understanding is that we pray to one god you get it so anyway i don't want to speak too much the message was clear over here and if you feel like i reacted to this video in a better way just give me a thumbs up and don't forget to go down our comment section tell us exactly what you feel about our reaction and what you feel about this video by if jesus said god is one why does the trinity exist just let me know in the comment section below what do you think what do you think what do you think and if you have if you have any kind of reaction video that you want us to react to just let us know in the comment section and we're going to do it for you and the most important thing guys don't forget to subscribe to our channel the more you keep on subscribing the more you give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you better better content and guys keep on subscribing man thank you so much keep on subscribing more things are coming and if you have any questions just let us know in the comment section below and last but not the least we're gonna see you in the next video and peace out